Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. I've got the last four of the inner leaves of Noah's copy of Startling Comics number 48. Here's the centerfold. Now, the first four leaves had tears and had mold, so we did full immersion baths for them. You can see here this crease. This is the remnants of the crease that actually tore the first four leaves and the cover. But by the time it got to this, toward the centerfold, it's just a crease. It doesn't actually break paper anywhere. These pages also are not moldy. The centerfold may need reinforcement at the point of the staple. And we'll deal with that when we get to the centerfold. But what I want to show you today is that I did the full bath on the first four leaves and the rest of the leaves I want to deacidify, but they don't need a full submersion. We can do a quicker, simpler, less risky deacidification, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So I'm going to get my material set up to do that and I'll be right back. All right, I have one of those leaves and I've set it on top of my Hollytex. This is non-woven polyester fabric. Talked about that material before. I have calcium hydroxide. This is about 25% saturated, so 0 0.4 grams per liter in regular tap water. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray this page with this calcium hydroxide solution. And you'll see that the paper's starting to relax. I'm just gonna very gently pull it to flatten it out. And if we just put the spray, the calcium hydroxide spray on this surface, we wouldn't really get good penetration into the paper. You'll see that it's getting dark here as the paper is absorbing that solution. But you'll also note that in here it's not. That's because this paper is sized, so it has a certain amount of uh, surface tension where it will not allow the water. It's, it's slightly hydrophobic. Now we could overcome that by adding some kind of a surfactant, but there's a simpler way that doesn't really add any unnecessary chemicals, which I prefer. And that is to just do this in layers where we use the fact that the Holytex is very wettable surface to our advantage and we can get the whole page wet by suspending it between two pieces of Holytex and spraying both sides. So this doesn't always lay down perfectly the first time. And at this point, I don't necessarily want to get all the bubbles out, but I do want this holly text to be flat. So I'm gonna just pull any wrinkles out with my fingers. This calcium hydroxide does have a high pH but it is not dangerous. It's just basically, uh, in terms of touching with your fingers, I don't wear gloves when I use this material. Okay. Now what I can do is I'm picking up the bottom Holytex and I can flip the page over. And now you get a pretty good view of A, why we wanted it flat and B, how the water really doesn't penetrate this paper on these Golden Age books without a surfactant. So, or something else to assist. So what I'll do now is I've just peeled back my top layer of Holytex. 
and I'm going to spray this page directly. I'm going to lay this holly text back on the book. If you're careful, you get it pretty flat the first time. And then I'll repeat that process on this side. And I'm going to let this set for about 10 minutes and I'll come back and I'll show you the rest of the way that I process this. All right, I've let this sit for about 10 minutes, as I said, and what I'm going to do now is I just have a paper towel. I'm going to use the paper towel to smooth out the book and to absorb excess water out of it. Now we're going to start drying it out. So I'm pushing air bubbles out. I'm starting in the center here. I'm going out away from the center in all directions. You see that I am pushing quite a bit of water out. This is basically completely saturated now, just from that little bit. And remember, uh, I'm not rubbing on the surface of the book here, right? I'm just rubbing the surface of the holly text. I would never do this to the book directly because wet paper is weak paper and this would no doubt create damage in the paper fibers. So now this is completely saturated and these are paper towels that I'm reusing. These are ones that I used before for presses, cold presses. And I will repeat this wipe down process a few more times until my paper towels are not coming off like super saturated. One of the tricks about doing wet cleaning is once your solvent is in the media, the paper, you want to remove it and dry it quickly. The longer you leave it there, the more likely you are to get ink running and other problems. So, you, you need to balance having the solvent there long enough to saturate your media and to be able to remove anything that you're trying to remove. In this instance, we're actually trying to deacidify. So we also want to leave behind that alkaline reserve that we've talked about before. Because paper is a material that will destroy itself over time because it, by its very nature, as it ages, it breaks down and produces acid, which then destroys paper which then breaks down, which then produces acid, and it spirals from there. So by leaving an alkaline reserve, as the paper begins to break down, we will get, instead of the release of acid that then breaks down more paper, creates more acid, that release of acid will immediately come in contact with the alkaline reserve that we leave in the paper, which will neutralize it. And so it won't have that spiral effect. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to prep, uh, I'm going to just cold press this by placing some paper towels on top of it, like you've seen me do before, and my piece of granite that uh, is the leftover countertop material that you've also seen me use before. So I always make note of exactly where the book is. Sometimes I don't want to move it. So I'm keeping track of these lines here. 
because I want the granite. I want to, the granite is only just barely bigger than these golden age pages. So I want to make sure that I place it on there um, in a way that it's absolutely covering the paper. So I'm looking here and here and up and down to make sure that I do that. Okay, so as I mentioned before, this is the initial press. I'm just gonna leave this for about 10 minutes because the paper's pretty wet. That paper towel is gonna get wet pretty quick. I'll swap that paper out. When I do that, I'll actually put another layer underneath it. Then maybe about 20 minutes, I'll swap them again. Maybe about an hour, swap them again. Then maybe four or eight hours later. By tomorrow, I'll do one more swap. And the next, the following day, it'll be dry enough to go in cold press just between paper. I won't need the paper towels anymore. So I just wanted to put together this quick video to show you how to deacidify interior leaves with calcium hydroxide in a way that you don't have to do a full immersion bath. That's pretty easy. We get good results. I will show you these pages when I'm done with all of them and we'll put them all back together. If you like this video, if you're enjoying this content, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content just like this. Happy hunting, and until next time, take care of one another.